the big plan is to access individual fields in my SQLite database slash table through Python. The purpose behind it is to edit those fields from a Python GUI screen. The time to do this. This will take a few lessons. So, let's get started. First, let me see. Do I have databases here? DIR star dot DB. Yes, I do. My DB. My DB dot DB. That's my guy right there. Okie dokie. Let's clear the screen. And let's go into SQLite 3. And let's get my DB dot DB. So I got my prompt now, so I key in dot database, and there he is, idb.db. Let's see if we've got a table associated with this dot table. Enter. And there's our table called T1. What is the structure of T1? I mean, I could select star from T1, semicolon, and, but it doesn't tell me the field names. Yuck. So, I have to... Ask the system, system, tell me, what is the schema behind T1? And it tells me, you keyed in create table T1, and this is how you defined it. Variable named 1, fair char, and variable named 2, which is a small integer. All right. So I've got a variable called 1 and a variable called 2. That is very original. And I've got the words high. 10 and by 20 in this uh, table. All right, all well and good. Now it's time for us to go into Python. Do the same thing again, but this time we will access these not through a select statement, but through a print statement, and we will reference the individual fields within this table. Good? Good. Let's go get our Python shell up here. We'll do this interactively first, and then in the next lesson, we'll put it into a script and run it. Okie dokie. Okey -dokey. Step number one. Let's import SQLite 3 as, let's call it DDB. That's the database. Oh, sounds nice. The database. Now I need a connection variable. I'll call that CON. CON equals the database dot. And that is, I got to connect. C-O-N-N-E-C-T. Connect to my db dot db. Close friends, hit enter. I need a special built-in guy associated with con. Con dot to Mr. Row Factory. Row Factory, there he is. I need the Row Factory connection. Row Factory equals ddb dot. And now I'm looking for row. There it is. So now, I've got a guy called the row factory. Connections row factory is equal to ddb row. So let me rehash what I've said already. I imported SQL 3 light as ddb. I took that ddb and I connected to my db.db database and I set that equal to this variable com. Now I told the com to execute row factory now, why am I doing this? If you want to access columns by names, their field names, you got to use the row factory. It's an attribute of this guy, the connection instance. What will it do? It's going to let you reference these guys by their field names. <laughs> okay, that's good. So, con.rowfactory equals ddb.row. The next thing I do is I need my cursor, of course. So, I cur equals con. Cursor. So all the records that I'm talking about will be linked to cur. All right. Cur, this is what I want you to do now. Cur, I want you to execute the select command. Select star from T1. All right. Now, this variable over here, I'm going to use a variable close to him. I'm going to call him rows. Rows is going to be equal to cur.fetch all. I'm going to fetch all of them, and I'm going to put it in a variable called rows. All my records are there now. For r in rows, colon, 
this is what I want you to do. Print percent s percent i because I have an integer in there also percent whoops percent s space percent i I have to whoops I have to close them within quotes space percent now what am I going to print out here and here this is what I'm going to print out the following this guy in rows. This guy was equal to all the records and now we're going to step through them one at a time. R square brackets quotes and the name of the first column or field name was one. Square brackets whoops not a square bracket space line continuation character and the next one will be comma R square brackets quotes two. That was my other variable name. Square brackets, then two close quotes, and I'm done. Enter. Enter. Oh, it worked. <laughs> what do you know? There they go. Hi ten and by two. That is just amazing. Con dot close. And we're done. So we were able to we were able to access these guys now by their field names and iterate through the loop and do this. Wow, that's amazing. This is George Bull. Bye-bye.